So here's the thing. Am I going to get worked up because I'm working here all alone thinking, my word, how am I going to get all this stuff done? Uh, just take it. Just take your project one step at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. How do you paint a job? One step at a time. So now that I, now that I got my game plan on what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to start here in the closet. I'm going to use that old paint, remember? And I'm just going like to, I like to use this. This works out really good because I'm going to just paint right out of the can and then I can use this edge for my paintbrush and for everything up above, I can set the paint can up here and be careful, slide it around, do all the cutting. And funny enough, I'm going to show you the paintbrush that I'm going to use for in here. Ta-da! My little throwaway paintbrush? Yeah, it's just a two inch paintbrush. Hey, if you got a little job, if you wanna if you wanna do one little job and you're not quite sure if you want to do any more painting, you can just get a couple throwaway paintbrushes if you want. This one's this one's been around the ringer a few times, but I've already checked in there to see if I can cut in around the uh the door casing on the back side, which which I can. It should be it's not gonna be that difficult. Uh, I could get my cut in brush my regular cut-in brush ready for that but I don't really want to necessarily do that just yet because it's not going to take me that long to cut in this and then I'm going to have to change and get it into my other paint for this room to do all the cut-in with my other cut-in paintbrush and so if I rinse my cut-in brush out by using it in here then it's going to be wet and it's going to be you know it's going to take me a few minutes before I can start cutting this in. If you use, if you rinse your, your cut-in brush out um, and you want to use it somewhere else, you dry it off as best you can, uh, you can do that, but it's just going to take you a few minutes getting into the paint and getting ready to start cutting in. You'll see how, it's, how the paint's going to be kind of slightly watery as you put it on and you're going to have to do a little bit extra uh, in a certain area to get going and then you might have to even drop back and do the first part where, where you did when the paintbrush was still wet you see what I mean but but yeah you don't need much to paint okay and it like I say if you don't have any um, paint brushes and all that kind of stuff start off cheap and do it and then when you're saving money you can always buy other things along the way and then and then you'll get you'll get a you get different things I got a little mini a little mini roller four inch mini roller I did I I use this to paint some doors once upon a time that worked out really good so I have to have a I have to have a little paint a, a, a paint frame for for that that type of mini roller see just something like that. And then I got some paint sticks in here. Here, here I got a brand new throwaway paintbrush, a three inch. And, and I'm not gonna use that. Uh, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna use that. But I have it when I, when I get ready. And here's my, my nice cut in paintbrush. I'll, sh I'll show you that kind of stuff along the way. See, I even got another uh, cut in paintbrush. This is a good one. This is a two and a half, a two and a half inch one. And uh, you know some rags and plastic and and different things. I even got a little artist brush in here if, if you need if you need to use something like that every once in a while. I don't use that very often, but I got it. And and then I got a whole bucket out here with stuff with with paint rollers, nine inch uh, paint frame, nine inch cover, and, and stuff, and uh, paint sticks and you know I I just I just kind of. I just kind of carry that around with me. Um, you, you see what I mean? Here, this is a big, huge nine-inch paint roller cover. Do I really want to get that out and get all this in here? If you can see, when you get ready to uh, go up to um, trim and stuff and small walls and stuff, this is kind of awkward to get up in there, and that's why. For a small condo like this, uh, that's why I use that uh, 
that mini roller, that six inch. And and see, I, I I just I just carry I just carry all kinds of, of different things, and and that's my paint bucket. That's my paint bucket, and uh, I just take that with me, I, and I take a water uh, container bucket with me with my simple green and a couple sponges, a couple rags. You never know what you're going to get into when you're starting to paint, especially if you're nowhere close to a hardware store or anything like that. Okay, and uh, masking tape, you, you know, you, once you start and you think, hey, I think I can do this, and you do a, a couple rooms, you, you just get better along the way. There's only so much you're going to learn by watching me show you, explain to you in nauseam <laughs> about all the different things you have to do in order to paint or read up all about it and get book after book. It goes, it, that goes for anything DIY. There's only so much you can read. There's only so much you can watch, listen, and learn from videos, podcasts, books, you got to go out after you gain a little bit of knowledge that way. I'm not saying that's that's not good. You can do that. And then if you decide to do it, little little knowledge will do you. And then it's all about getting in there and getting it done and starting step by step. And yes, no matter what it is, I don't care what it is DIY, you're going to make mistakes along the way, but you're going to learn from those mistakes and you're going to get better at it and when you get done with the job you're going to say you're, you're going to say oh i should have done this i should have done that next time i'm gonna go about it this way as opposed to that way oh i see now how i should have done it and and i'll i'll be better at it next time and this that and the other thing you be a good handyman that way a good uh weekend warrior around your house and or to help out a friend or anything like that Start thinking about doing DIY. As for that, <laughs> of course, I've got over 4,000 DIY how-to videos on my YouTube channel. Are you kidding me? Yes, I do. Uh, on, and I got it in different courses and all kinds of stuff. So, if you want to check that out, you go to my main YouTube channel page and you click on playlists you can scroll down anything all I got it all in different titles all my painting will be all in one area all my electrical will be all in one area all my ceiling fans will be all in one area the plumbing will be all in one area and and anything I do it's all set up for for houses that uh, are already existing and you moved in or your apartment or your duplex or your triplex or your fourplex or your house flip or anything like that it 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 shows you all the the particulars inside and how to fix things and how to install things and, and that kind of stuff okay so check it out when you get a chance well that's all I got for this time but I'll be back with more videos <laughs>